Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a look with this Laura Geller Midnight Munchies palette. This is part of the Delectable Baked Eyeshadow palettes that she has. And um, I'm really loving this color Cherry Pie, this Chocolate Souffle and Coffee Cake. Um, so I'm going to be trying out this eye primer from M2U. This was in my um, October Ipsy bag. So um, I'm putting that all over and it's very, very tacky at first. So I just uh, let that dry down some. And while that is drying, I'm going to try out this um, Dermalect Smooth and Supple Lip Mask Melt. It had a beautiful, smooth, rich sort of feeling on the lips, so that was really nice and refreshing. So now I'm going in with this color Fortune Cookie, and I'm using that as my transition shade here in the crease. And then I'm taking that Coffee Cake, which is a beautiful, rich brown, and I'm gonna just go under um, that crease shade and into the outer corner some. Now I am going to try out my Farrah Short Shading Brush in 45E, which was also in my Ipsy bag, and I'm going to lay down that Cherry Pie shade on um, just the inner third of the lid. I wanna leave a little space there to tap into another shimmer shade, which is this um, Chocolate Souffle. This is such a pretty uh, brown shade, but it has like a mossy green sort of shimmer to it. I just thought they looked so pretty next to each other. Not really an expected combo, but I really like the way that it came out. So uh, then I take this um, Pecan Bar, which is also a beautiful uh, bronze type shade, and I'm throwing that on the lower lid. I went back into coffee cake just to deepen up that outer corner and blend that out a little bit better. Now I'm taking this beautiful shimmery cream shade called Frosted Donut and I'm going to pop that into the inner corner and slightly on the brow bone as well. Now I just had to swatch out this Apple Crumble shade. I didn't plan to use it for the look, but I just wanted to show you. It reminded me so much of my Araceli Azteca Eyes Copper shade. Look at the two of them. They are practically the same shade, equally like up there in quality. They blend beautifully, which I'm gonna show you. I just had to compare the two. You know that that Azteca Copper is one of my favorite um, shades, so I just had to show that quickly. Um, now I'm trying my Lovecraft Beauty Black Gel Liner, and I'm doing a thin line on the upper lid, as well as tight lining the lower and upper lids together. And as I recover from the tight lining experience, you'll see there, it's just never works for me. Um, I just wanted to show you that that primer really uh, was giving those shadows a beautiful feeling. So I'm throwing on um, some mascara here just to prep for my false lashes. And I'm using the Kiss brand in the Style Shy. I have mentioned before that some Kiss lashes give me trouble as far as putting uh, that inner corner down comfortably onto the lash line. So here you're witnessing me stabbing the glue into my eyeball. Um, I don't know. I just, I have the worst luck when it comes to makeup. So again, another recovery session. I'm going to um, show you, swatch these out. My mom gave me these lipsticks. Um, they are from Color Impact. They're a fashion lipstick. So I'm assuming that she got this from like in a makeup kit of some kind, uh, but they had a really buttery smooth feeling. So I just had three shades to play with and I thought this sort of more uh, orangey shade would look very nice with this eye look. And I don't know if it's the lipsticks themselves or that Dermalect um, treatment, but they felt so nice on the lips. So uh, here you have the completed eye look using the Laura Geller Delectable Baked Eyeshadow Palette Midnight Munchies. I think this is so pretty. It really does have a nice fall sort of vibe to it, um, but you could wear this any time of year. I love how shimmery it is, how glowy it all looks. And then again, I really do like the lipsticks. I don't think that they're any kind of like name brand, but um, I was happy with them. So thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate the support and please revisit.